As you know, the IHS boys varsity basketball team had a very successful season, including a Whippeal championship and a berth in the state tournament playoffs. But what you didn't know is the story within. I present to you the EOB. One might think that a Whippeal championship lies on the shoulders of the starters, the dunkers, the scorers, the kids who bust their butt every single play. What if I told you otherwise? What if the success of the 2015 Whippeal Championship team lied at the end of the bench? You know, over the years I've watched a lot of basketball, played a lot of basketball, and I realized it's not about the guys on the court. It's about the boys in the showers, hitting it hard, on the bench, screaming, just slapping each other in the butt. That's what gets the job done. This group, run by two men, changed the history of IHS basketball forever. They are known as the EOB. The true meaning of the EOB is simply end of bench. But the sub-meaning is much more than that. The first member of the group is the leader. He is old, he's experienced. This old man has been around a few times. He started this elite group and has set a strong foundation for the future. You know, J. Lou, I could go on and on. I mean, let's just start out. He's Italian. Italian stallion. And uh, during the basketball games, he, you know, really gets the party going, uh, gets the whole team excited. And uh, we just love having him on the team. J. Lou has been my neighbor for years. Um... We've grown together. I've seen him do a lot of weird stuff. It's, uh, it's not as bad as you would think that we don't get that much playing time. We uh, do what we can to help the team, but our main, our main game is at the end of the bench where we chirp, celebrate, have a good time. The second member of the group is the young one. He is the spark that ignites this group to its full potential. He is the future. Um, oh, Hoff, what can I say that hasn't already been said about Ryan Hoff? Me and Ryan Hoff absolutely feed off each other's excitement. You know, he'll throw a chirp out there, and then I'll have to follow up with a good chirp, too. Uh, I mean, with our celebrations, you know, we just both get excited at the same time, get super pumped up, and we just feed off each other. Uh, if I had the choice to be a member of the EOB or a starter of the basketball team, I'd pick EOB all day just because uh, we pull all the women around the school, not the starters. Not only do these fine young men excel on the sidelines, but also in the hearts of the women of IHS. In modern terms, they are known to take your girl. The most rewarding part of the EOB is uh, contrary to popular belief, you might think the starters get all the women around the school, but it's actually the EOB. When it comes to women in Indiana, it's pretty unfortunate, but I'd have to say the EOB really does pull all of them. Uh, it's, it's kind of a shame because, you know, we, we do everything, but uh, they get all the ladies. If there was no EOB, there would likely be no Whitfield Championship for IHS. These men went above and beyond to propel their team to success. You know, they changed the history of Indiana boys basketball forever. Day in and day out, they came prepared and ready to work and cheer. My God, they were something else. We definitely offended a lot of people, from players from the opposing team, to students from the other schools, from teachers from the other schools, and especially parents and grandparents. But we just do not care at all. That's what the EOB represents. Every good story has a secret. The EOB is the unsung hero of Indiana. They are not the heroes Indiana wants. They are the heroes that Indiana deserves. They are the true Whippeal champions. Great story there. 
as you can see, the EOB was very instrumental to the basketball team's success. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next week on IHS Sports News.